Hello, Capricorn. How are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So, Capricorn, this is your reading for the month of July, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Capricorn, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright, so I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll see what are the energies. Okay, we'll see what is your energy for the month of July, what you need to know for the month of July. What is the energy of the person oh you are thinking about you are dealing with you will be dealing with okay too many cards capricorn too many cards you want to free yourself from something capricorn okay there is some sort of a freedom you're craving for and you want it real bad okay whatever this is you want it real bad okay let's see we have queen of wands Three of Swords, Queen of Swords, that is a suffocating energy over here. You're trying to suppress something and you actually want to let it out. I'm feeling so much of heaviness inside me. As far as your person is concerned, we have Nine of Wands and then we have the Fool. Okay. You might be dealing with Cancer, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, I'm hearing Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, if the sign pops up, all the better, let's not remain fixed on the signs, okay? So Capricorn, what are you trying to suppress? See Capricorn, I think so well, with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, uh, besides a Three of Swords, it's like you don't like to show that you are weak. You don't like to show that to the world. Okay, you. I don't know, it's, it's probably that's a kind of a conditioning that has happened while growing up. Okay, you were conditioned in a certain way that you have to act in so and so manner okay uh, you cannot uh, probably you are the eldest child in the family uh, doesn't matter if you're eldest or not okay uh, for some of you it, that might be the case and you probably were conditioned in the manner that uh, because you are the eldest you have to set an example for the younger siblings of yours and you have to act in a certain manner you have to uh, portray a very strong persona or that's what you had seen your elder uh, elderly people within the household do like they never sh they they never uh, they had never shown a weaker side of theirs to the other family members or they were always hesitant in showing a weaker side of theirs to the other family members and you kind of picked uh, picked up on it and you are like if i'm feeling hurt if i'm feeling the pain I'll control and suppress the pain within me, but I'll not show it to the rest of the world. Okay, I'll I'll control it. Even probably even if you are in the bedroom all alone, I think so. You prefer not to cry. You dismiss that you're feeling in a certain way. Okay, you probably dismiss your feelings that you you want to cry or you're you're feeling the pain from inside and you want to be vulnerable. You dismiss that. For some of you, you're holding a very good position in your life. Maybe you're an MD or you're a provider of the family. Or maybe if you're doing a 9-to-5 job, you're holding a very good position and people are looking up to you. And it, it kind of looks that you have been through something in your life and it was it gave you some excruciating pain, excruciating, excruciating pain. Like I would really like to repeat that word excruciating countless times okay but that's the level of pain that you have experienced and somehow i feel like you you have numbed all those feelings whereas your soul from inside is actually crying to let it out so first and foremost capricorn i really want you to 
thrust your face on the pillow in your bedroom when you are all alone shut off the lights okay and start crying out loud i really want you to cry loud do it when you are all alone okay you push yourself push your face into that pillow deep down and you know if you are really hesitant about what if i start crying and other people will listen no don't care about that okay and that's why even if you're feeling worried that's why i'm suggesting that thrust your face into that pillow and then start crying so even if any kind of voice noise is uh, supposed to get leaked a very nominal amount of noise will get leaked okay but cry what is important over here is you need some see something needs to come out okay i was telling you right even before laying down the cards there is some sort of liberation that you are trying to seek your soul wants to free itself from something your soul is feeling the heaviness of the emotions that you have stored inside your heart inside your mind body and soul for so many years you have not let your emotions out at all you you scared to become vulnerable okay but something has happened in the recent past for sure with the three of swords and you also don't like to show your vulnerability because you feel that if i show my vulnerability people will think that i am weak and they might again take some uh, undue advantage of my uh, nice and kind and soft and cute and vulnerable heart okay and that's why your protective energy about it is also very strong you you are trying to protect your heart and you also don't want to want you to be vulnerable see if you want to up your energy if you want to become stronger emotionally you have to face whatever you don't want to face okay you have to become vulnerable you have to cry you have to let something out okay so you are also trying to portray a personality in front of others you know you try to show that you are this strong and you know a strong minded person and uh, you like to show yourself like that you like to portray yourself like that uh, you, one of the reason you like to show yourself like that is because you are damn scared of getting hurt you're damn scared you don't want to show your vulnerability maybe this is something you did in the past and that person took undue advantage of your vulnerable state of mind okay and then they played around with you so you're scared of that right now okay you're trying to protect your heart but one of the ways to protect your heart is by becoming vulnerable and it's not necessary that you have to become vulnerable in front of someone else okay you can also become vulnerable you can also start crying you can also do a lot of self talk talk alone in the room to yourself talk as if someone is standing in front of you if you believe in god think that you are having a conversation with a god i do that multiple times but something needs to come out of you and that is very important that is very crucial capricorn okay then uh, let's talk about your love life we have nine of wands we have fool and we have the moon someone is coming towards you capricorn and this person is taking a very strong leap of faith towards you and this person is coming towards you in fact to help you out in whatever is going inside you to help you out in releasing something that is stored inside you this person is coming towards you they this person is sent by the universe very clearly this person is sent by the universe okay and with the moon card i kind of feel that this person will really help you let something out of your system something that is stored deep inside you this person will bring it to the surface and then they will kind of ask you to face it but don't worry this person will support you throughout the journey okay they are your true soulmate they are your true companion they will be there at every single phase of your life okay this person is going to be very very protective about you 
very likely that this person is a healer a reiki healer a tarot card reader a psychic okay it is very likely that this person is already a part of the uh, occult uh, field okay they are an occult enthusiast they stay in a different country they are coming off from a far off distance they are coming towards you this person is a soulmate 101% sure this person is a part of your soul tribe they are your soulmate they are meant to come towards you okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe comment down below the link for the extended is in the description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care and bye, -bye.